Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to create your first PHP project using Visual Studio Code. So actually I am using Xamp as the web server, so I need to create my PHP project on the HT docs of Xamp. So let's do this, I will create a new folder, so let's click on open folder. Then let's go to the location of Xamp. And here let's open htdocs and now let's add a new folder called shop. So let's select this and let's click on select folder. Now the folder is empty so let's add a new PHP file called welcome.php and here I will use the exclamation point for code completion. Then let's hit enter. So in the body I will add some PHP statements, so I will add PHP and here I will add some statements with errors to see what happens And as you can see, I have some errors, but these errors are not highlighted because I did not install any extension for PHP. So let's go to the list of extensions. And here we have the list of recommended extensions. So we have IntelliFence and we have also IntelliSense. They are similar extensions that do almost the same thing. So we don't need to install both of them. Only one is enough. So if we go to IntelliFence, we see it is downloaded 3 million times and it have this rating, which is very good. But if we select IntelliSense, we see that it is downloaded 5 million times, but the rating is low. Also, for the case of IntelliSense, we see that it requires PHP 7. So this constraint is not the case of IntelliSense, uh, is not the case of IntelliFence, which does not require PHP 7. For this reason, I prefer to install IntelliFence. But if I scroll down here, I will see how to install it. So as you can see, to install it, I need to disable the built-in VS Code PHP language features. To do this, I have to go to the extensions, and here we are. Then I have to search for built-in PHP. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. So this is the extension that I need to disable. So let's select it and let's click on disable. Now I need to reload Visual Studio Code. So let's do this. Now let's remove this text to obtain the previous list and let's select IntelliFence again. Now we can install it. So now it is installed. So let's close this and let's go back to our PHP file. And now, as you can see, the errors are underlined. So if I put the cursor here, it is mentioned that I need to add the semicolon. So let's do this here and here. And here we still have an error. This is because the date function requires a string parameter. So the string parameter, let's obtain an example of this string parameter. So this is an example. I will make a copy of this and I will add it to this function. Of course, I will add the semicolon. Then into the HTML code, I will uh, add some HTML text. So I will add a title. Let's say hello VS Code. And also I will add a paragraph which shows the current date. So let's add a PHP code here with the following echo. Now let's save this file and let's go to the navigator to run it. So my, uh, the project is called job and the file is called welcome.php so let's run it as we can see this is the obtained output now we can create another 
file uh, using Visual Studio Code. So let's go to the Explorer. And here I want to create a new file into another subfolder. So I want to create a new folder into the shop folder and let's call it admin. And into this folder I want to create a new file. So let's call it hello.php. So into this file I will add some HTML text. So I will use the exclamation point. And in the body I will just add some PHP uh, code. So here let's say echo hello admin. So let's save this. Let's go to the navigator and let's provide the path for the second file. So it is admin hello.php. And this is the output. So this is all for this video. I hope it is useful for you. Please subscribe to the channel.